Hey, I want to do a quick video on tightening on the chain on my little ninja. But anyway, as yes, most of y'all know that watches my channel, I haven't been able to ride for about two or three months. And uh, I got to okay to do a few little rides from the doctor. So when I went for a quick ride up to the mountain, I kept hearing some slapping. So that's what I heard. So I'm gonna do a quick job, uh, a little quick job of uh, tightening the chain up. It's nothing too intense, but uh, I'm going to tell you what tools you need. Some people don't even, they'll just show you tightening it up, but I'll be right back. Okay, I'm here at the workbench now, and these are the tools that I'm going to use. Um, normally, you know, I talk about the torque, uh, but something, I don't, you know, like fairings and stuff, I just give it the grunt method, but this is real important to you get the proper torque and all, so there won't be no, uh, cheating on the torque on it uh, which first of all uh, pliers two 12 millimeter wrenches 32 millimeter socket you don't have to have a deep well but I have deep well so that's what I'm using torque wrench and breaker bar and what comes in handy sometimes is the owner's manual which, uh, if you had the Ninja, you want to look it up yourself, you could go on page, uh, it's in the maintenance and adjustment section, but, uh, uh, let's see, page 150 starts if you want to read through all of it, but, uh, over here it tells you, shows you the amount of, um, slack that you want in it and just a little bit about that but right here's your uh torque specs on it so that's why i have it out that page i've already done it one time so i'm not going to go through the whole section on it but um all right let's go over there and mess with it Okay, if you have a, a stand, you use a stand. Be careful not to knock it off. The first time I did it, I didn't have a stand, and it was a little bit more aggravating trying to get everything even. So, first we're gonna take and break it. Be careful not to knock it off the stand. And you do not want to use your torque wrench to break stuff loose with. So uh, use your breaker bar. Right, get it good and loose. Okay, I'm back over on the drive side. And what I'm gonna do is loosen the jam nut. And then I'm gonna loosen and adjust it out. You have marks down here. Look where it's marked at. And uh, then adjust it out. Then go to the other side and set the mark on the same. Uh, 
uh, some on this side. And if you get down low enough, right on the bottom block, there's a mark. All right. And uh, the other side said a little bit past three on the mark. So uh, I'm going to adjust this one out to the same. You want to be more precise you can get a tape measure or some calibers and I'd measure this distance in between here below the bolt Battery's dead, but you can still read the uh, measurements right here. So, I'm going to check the other side. Okay, got the torque wrench set for 95.9 foot pounds. Uh, I've already snugged it up. And, uh, let's torque it. And where your keyway or a carter pin goes, you may have to tighten it up a little bit more. You got two positions that you can put the keyway vertical and kind of horizontal. So I'm just past the vertical and not quite to the horizontal. So you can go a little bit more on your torque to get it lined up. Just a little bit more. Now you want to take your uh, carter pin and bend the sides back around. And then you want to lock your jam nut. And the next step I'm going to do is lube the chain. This is a very good product. And uh, you go over online, but I picked this up at uh, um, <laughs> a cycle gear up here at, local, at one of the local locations. 
And this is where this stand comes in handy. off any excess excess run it sprayed around on your tire your rim and that's that's it it's uh she's uh tightened up and lubed up i will show you but i already put my tools back up without getting it out but it's um tight and it's got the measurements between an inch and uh, like 1.04 yeah that's your tolerances for the chain adjustment but uh hey that's it i'm to end this video that would have been helpful for you or even without have a blessed evening